Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby and today we're going to be making some DIY produce bags. So to start this off, you're just going to need some cotton fabric and I just got mine at Joann's. You don't need two kinds, but I got two. And then you're going to need some utility mesh and some gross grain ribbon. So to get started, you're just going to take one of your cotton pieces of fabric and you're going to cut it out 3 inches by 25 inches. And I just have this rotary cutter that I use and it makes things super simple and I don't know, it just makes cutting a straight line a lot easier than using scissors. I think I just bought mine on Amazon and I don't think that it was very expensive when I got it. So you're just gonna cut out one piece that's that size of three by 25 inches. And then you're going to go ahead and go to your iron and heat it up. And then you're going to press on the sides of that piece of fabric to hem it. I found the easier way to do this was to actually pin it to the iron board. You're also then going to want to fold over the side pieces about half an inch. You could make this a no-sew by using fabric glue, but I've been practicing my sewing lately, so I wanted to try sewing it. You're going to cut again, but this piece is going to be 4 inches by 24 inches, and this will be your bottom piece. By now you should have your top piece and then your bottom piece. Next, you're going to cut your mesh, and this will just be 24 inches by 15 inches. This is all for if you're just making one bag. So if you're making multiple, then go ahead and change and get fabric according to that. Oh yeah, and then my cat was being super cute. <laughs> Here I'm just cutting the mesh, and this is a little bit of a more difficult fabric to work with. But it wasn't too bad actually, I'm a pretty beginner sewer too, and even sewing it wasn't awful. Alright, so taking that 3 inch by 25 inch, you're just going to hem that. And then you're going to sew on the bottom piece to your utility mesh. You might have to cut off some of the excess on the sides, but that's not a big deal. At this point, you're going to take the top piece and fold it over the utility mesh and sew there. Sorry, it kind of switched between the two fabrics here, but they're both exactly the same thing, just different colored fabrics. So once you have both those top and bottom pieces sewed onto your utility mesh, you're going to fold it in half and this is when it starts to finally take shape. You're going to pin both the bottom side and the sides, not the top, because that's where your bag will be. Then you're going to go ahead and take that to the sewing machine. Make sure that when you fold it in half it's inside out so that way when you flip it the thread will be more hidden. Alright now just taking a clothespin I'm putting that onto some of the gross grain ribbon and I used about 20 to 30 inches and then you're just going to thread that through the top. Now this might take a minute but once you get it started it's pretty easy and you'll be able to pull your string out the other side and that's just how you make a drawstring bag, super easy. Then I just knotted the ends so that they wouldn't go into the bag and then you're all done. There's your produce bags. 
I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great new year so far and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.